Can you check out how big this freaking in this filter is? <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's huge, huge, bro. That's pretty sick, bro. What is up, guys? Chris back at it again with another vlog. We are at Hermnezy's house. Herman's house. <laughs> Newsy. <laughs> so we are at Herman's house and we're gonna be installing a JWT uh, pop charger It's called technically it's like a intake intake pop charger, whatever you call it. Jim Wolf technology I actually ordered this from concept Z. So if you guys want to check that out the link is in the description But we're going to install this today. So we're hitting you with another install video on the G. Let's get into this guys um, I just hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys so much I don't even think I can put that in the vlog because <laughs> might get copyrighted. We are going to go ahead and see how much gains we actually make, you know, like from the gym. You know, no, I'm just kidding. Horsepower. Apparently on the website, this gives out about 13 to 15 horsepower. I don't know if that's from the tune after the fact or if that's just straight from, you know, right away as you install it. Now, technically speaking, this is a Z-Tube install with the JWT pop charger. So that means that basically is a Z-Tube from straight from a Z. They just have replaces the uh, baffle one in this G35. So let's go ahead and get to this install. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, on the website, it says it's like 30 minutes. So it takes like 30 minutes, but you always run into problem so make sure you have enough time Shoot. all right so this is how it comes this is a uh, the big ass in uh, intake filter right here this thing is fucking <coughs> huge so when you order the still in one you get a also a still in fucking yeah, fuck <laughs> license plate <laughs> yeah, right. everyone's so hurt about that <laughs> It's not cool, bro. Well, because on the website or on the, uh, yeah, if you order a separate still in uh, license plate ho cover, how much is that? Like, Dude, it's like a hundred dollars. It's like, <laughs> yeah, like for a fucking license plate. It's fucking like a hundred bucks I mean, for like, I think like it's bracket, metal one though. Yeah, yeah well, it's probably still, like metal well, one. Fuck, they could give me a plastic <laughs> one for all the shit I bought. This is your Z tube, basically replacing the baffled intake tube. And then uh, I think this comes with like a shield, shielding, and screws, and then there's instructions over here too, so. Would assume, you know, if you guys don't already know how to take off your intake, it's not that hard. Just make sure you're not really pulling on stuff, because I feel like now that these cars are pretty old, the rubber on them is kind of, you know, jank, so be careful on what you're pulling, so. Might rip. It might rip, you know, rip. What we're gonna be replacing today is this part right here, and then we're gonna be replacing this whole intake box. This whole intake box right here. So we're gonna start off by taking off this piece, which is the basically the breather tube or something, like a breather tube. And then this is the main part that's, you're probably gonna get more gains than anything is this part right here. And then obviously have more airflow through the filter. I just replaced this filter, but we're getting a new one anyway. So yeah, we're gonna take this off. And then I think you keep this piece because this is where your MAF goes. Stock air box. This is the air scoop, the scoop intake right here. This is a scoop for your air to get in all those JDM airs for your scoops. Perfect. You gotta suck in all those JDM airs, you know? We took off the stock stuff. Remember to take off the MAF sensor uh, for the chassis that you plug in for these here. Now you take that off. And then, so what you're gonna do is heat shield over here. I think it's this one. And then you get one of these rubber pieces and you're gonna make basically a coupler for this so it can attach to that. So it uses this scoop right here still. That's what's gonna happen for the scoop. It's an edge trim. <clears throat> As we were installing this Z tube inside the actual intake or the way the intake goes. So the breather hose is for the inlet for the breather hose is gonna go on the bottom. It has to go on the bottom. If you do not get the Z Z tube with this JWT pop charger, um, you can use this, just take out the regular air box and put this in there. 
but with the Z-Tube, um, it's gonna have to go at the inlet, it's gonna have to go in the bottom. So what we did was, like I said before, so the way that this is shaped, the way that it looks, it's um, basically like an S almost, and it's gonna follow the same grooves as the stock intake, so the breather inlet is underneath here. It's right there, and we it pops in so perfectly the way it goes like that. So that's what we did. We ended up putting this breather hose down here on the end, on uh, the bottom, and it worked out perfectly. It just it seems like it's gonna not it's not gonna want to stay like that. But once you tighten these down, tighten this coupler down, it stays. It's perfectly fine. It's not going anywhere. So because the way the stock is, it's right here on the side, and it seems like it you would put that right there, but it it goes on the bottom. So so we finally got the trim in. So this edge trim. It sits in there. The like one that this. has a cut it's like that, and then it has the one for the cut for the scoop intake, and then it has this one just for like more protection. Yeah, and then that one's an extra piece that they give you just in case maybe you need it. I don't know what that was for, but um, so it sits like this. So it's gonna sit exactly like that. Um, then the intake goes right here, and then you should be good. And then the brackets, I think it uses this for the intake bracket. So there's another piece that this scoop, this bolt right here, is gonna uh, bolt up to this, I believe, like that piece with this whole piece right here. So. All right, so for the bracket, obviously we're gonna need to use these screws that they provide and this bracket that they're providing. So what we did was we pre kind of like threaded these in so that it's we don't not. We're not losing anything when we put these in, so it goes slips in just like that. So basically, kind of put it behind this little pinch weld right here, and then you put let allow this to go over the pinch weld, and you're pretty much good. So. All right, so we found out where this extra piece goes. So it actually goes into the stock intake. Is this probably a scoop? Scoop. <laughs> the scoop. So it actually goes in the stock intake scoop. It kind of, it's like an awkward way it goes in there. Um, so it like extends out, outward, so that it allows it to go inside of it, basically. Because you want that tight seal, guys. Very tight. So you don't miss any JDM airs going into your fucking JDM engine, okay guys? JDM airs, not American airs, JDM. So there it goes. Lines up and everything. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so basically you just put back this original piece for the MAF. So you put this right here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a bracket that goes from this top bolt, I guess, or a hole, and it goes to this part right there. So Alright guys, so I got into my new turbo setup right here. It's a T66 turbo. <laughs> I'm gonna plan to put NOS in there. <laughs> Fucking Chris. <laughs> oh, damn, look. You would have sucked in your glove, bro. Oh, fuck. Damn. Damn. That could have been, I don't Disastrous. know. Disastrous. <laughs> then you would have had to went and get three spoon engines, bro. <laughs> so what we did was, like this. so we screwed in um, this coupler, or this MAF part, whatever, into this back piece. So this part comes out of this intake right here, um, or that filter. And then... <laughs> Down, Chris. Just leave it like that. <laughs> <Go to her. Alright guys, so the install is finished. Everything is in place, everything looks good. So now we're just gonna see how it drives, see if it you know feels any better or feels like I get any gains with this. But I'm kind of skeptical. I think you probably need the tune in order for you to full, feel the full effect. But then again, I don't know. You, you might actually get some gains from the actual parts because this technically is bigger. This piece is bigger. So, we're gonna, me and her are gonna go wash our cars and I'll give you guys a little review of what, how I feel, 
how it feels, how it fits, sounds any different, if I notice anything, let's do this. For startup. By now, I'm pretty sure you know where I guys where I'm at Bernalillo spot here. And actually, you know what? I got on it a little bit, and the throttle response seems a little bit better. So I haven't got on it like fully, you know, full send, but I can definitely tell that there's a bit of a throttle chain that it feels a little bit more responsive. You can definitely tell the difference. <laughs> yeah, they broke neck, bro. Man did his little two-step kind of thing, and those guys in that Subaru over there. Let's go. Hey, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's just there's a super over there. They broke neck hard, they bro. Did, did that, you know, <laughs> no. They're like, what the fuck? But it's been a while since I've watched this car. It's It needs it, like, it really needs it. Cause it's just, you know, it's it's still clean, but like there's birds and bugs, like bird poop and bugs and like, you know, just like little stuff like this. It needs it, it really needs it. I'm the type of person when I see it dirty, like right away, when I see it like a little bit of speck of dust, you know, like, it gets a light dusting, I need to wash it. It's been a while though, like literally it's been like two, three weeks, probably since I've watched this car. So it needs it. I got that like DJ Snake song stuck in my head, that Contigo song. I just keep grooving to it all the time. Like it's stuck in my head. All right guys, so that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this install. Pretty easy, but it ended up taking us a couple hours for us to finish it. It wasn't like it was just, like they said on the website, 30 minutes. Nah, it was legit. It took like two hours because putting on those trim pieces was, you know, a mission. It was definitely a mission. Just keep that in mind. You're gonna have to assemble things before you can install things. So just keep that in mind. Uh, just make sure ample amount of time to do it. Uh, but it looks good. It feels good. It also feels good knowing that I have more performance parts on my car. I really want this car to go faster and I want it to be, and I want it to look good. So it's not just, you know, just for show. I really want it to go faster. But you know, if I had a 370Z, that that's really fast stock. I wouldn't really need to do anything to it, you know, but talking to Herman back there, he's in the other bay on the cross the thing. Hold on. Jimmy talking about you? Jimmy talking crap? Man. Came over here. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? No, I was just saying that I like performance parts too because I want my car to go faster. And I was like, but if I had a 370Z, <laughs> fuck, I wouldn't need to go really that fast because fucking Herman's car is like ridiculous. It's already like, for this car, I had a boost rsx and that thing his car kept up with mine and i had to boost mine to even keep up with his it's retarded but <laughs> <laughs> but that car was sick that but i mean like it like i'm just saying you know herman's car herman's car is fast that's all i'm saying it could be faster uh, but still it's fast enough. enough he walks people and takes in a tune yeah all right guys so i'm gonna end the video here like i said finish drying this car and you know make it look clean make it look nice i really hope you guys enjoyed the video more content coming soon i'm gonna be posting every week so stay tuned so this is the date i'm gonna be trying to posting every thursday for you guys for more content of the g more content of other stuff too i might do throw some daily vlogs in there or something but for right now i am going to be posting every thursday as much as possible every week so stay tuned guys peace out make sure you hit that like and subscribe button please hit that like button the like buttons really help me uh with youtube and everything like that and i'll see check you guys in the next one peace